Hello everyone, welcome to Chaos Unboxed Behind the Scenes. My name is Vlado and I'm Head of Innovation here at Chaos. And I'm Misho, CTO at Chaos, and we're here to give you a sneak peek into our world, show you how we work and how we build all these wonderful tools that you know and love. So come on, come with us. Today we're going to take a sneak peek at a project that has been going on here at Chaos for a little over a year now. Internally we call it Project Arena and it is a solution for virtual production on LED stages. Project Arena is based on a modified version of Chaos Vantage, our standalone tool for real-time path tracing. So let's take a look at what Project Arena is all about. Here at Chaos, innovation is not just a buzzword, it's an everyday necessity. We're taking you to the innovation lab where the magic happens. While there are many projects going on, we're going to specifically focus on Vantage for virtual production, which we believe will massively simplify the workflows. We've been interested in virtual production for a long time. In 2015, we did this project called Construct together with Kevin Margo, which was our first attempt at using real-time ray tracing. Uh, the hardware back then wasn't fast enough, but uh, today the technology is way more advanced, so we can actually use real-time ray tracing for virtual production. My colleague Chris Nichols has been the driving force behind this, and he will tell us a little bit more about um, how Vantage can be used for virtual production today. Hey, Chris. Over the years, virtual production had sort of evolved, including in-camera VFX, which is what most people think of when they think of virtual production today, which enables people to basically create the real-time experience on the screen behind the actors. Now, in-camera VFX is actually a technique that's been done for over a hundred years. It used to be called rear projection back in the day. The, the shortcomings of rear projection systems is that they do not allow the camera to move. And the reason it can't move is that if you move the camera, you break the perspective wall. It doesn't, the, the, the symmetry doesn't work. So the only way for you to be able to move the camera is you need the world behind on the screen to react in real time to what the camera is doing. And so therefore you need a real-time feedback to between physical camera and virtual camera so that they're linked to each other. And that's what sort of uh, the special is of, of uh, in-camera VFX. And you combine that with what we're doing with ray tracing and then you enable the real lighting to match both worlds as well. And so that's sort of uh, the special thing that we're doing here in Project Arena is we're creating an in-camera VFX solution that's tied to Vantage, which is our real-time ray tracer. And we're enabling basically anyone to be able to, to make that happen uh, in a virtual production set. The most important element of virtual production is virtualizing the camera. And so if you virtualize the camera, you can think about many different ways that you can enhance your onset experience, including not even including the wall, right? Uh, if you're able to look at things such as uh, real-time compositing, that's even another form of virtual production that we can sort of experience with. So for us, the idea, the most important part of virtual production is creating uh, the most seamless transition from a physical camera to a virtual camera. And we think that ray tracing is the only way that that's gonna happen. Let's talk a little bit about the technical challenges that we faced and we had to overcome and also some of the breakthroughs that got us where we are. Yeah, so um, going through the project, there were a few things that we didn't know how to implement, so we had to figure out how to. Um, for example, the first thing we had to solve is how to do real-time distributed rendering, um, where because different parts of the wall are rendered by different uh, instances of Vantage running with different machines, and uh, they all had to render the exact same frame at exactly the same time, so that took a while to figure out. Um, another challenge that we had to solve was camera tracking. There are a few different camera tracking systems out there, so we needed to figure out how to um, read the data and translate it uh, to the camera um, in Vantage. And um, I also knew that we needed to figure out the denoising. We did have some pretty good, good denoisers in Vantage, but um, they needed work. And we had some um, work done internally on our own denoiser 
but NVIDIA's DLSS 3.5 um, denoiser came uh, just in time to make all this possible. This has been one of our most complex undertakings so far. Um, it has software components, hardware components and everything in, in between. So tell us a little bit more about how does a project like that evolve over time? So when we started planning the project, I knew that we needed to do several things. First, we needed a, a setup in our office where we could, we could experiment uh, and build a proof of concept. Um, we needed real world tests and then we needed the whole system are used in an actual production. So um, initially we uh, built this little experimental stage in our office and we could test things like the distributed rendering, the camera tracking, the, the general log synchronization. Once all of that worked fine, uh, we uh, went to a real stage. Uh, there is a, a company near Sofia that has an actual production stage. So we did a, a few tests there, we set up the system, of course all kinds of issues came up which we had to solve, uh, but eventually it worked, that was super promising. Um, and this is still going, we, we still want to test on as many stages as possible, but we also want to do our own uh, virtual production uh, movie, like a short project that uh, will tell us how well the whole technology works in an actual uh, situation. and. Um, Hopefully this will tell us how to improve the, the product even more and make it uh, more tuned to the problems that our customers will be solving. And that's how we typically do things. The closer you are to the customer and their problems, the better product you're building. Absolutely. Hey, check this out. Oh, wow, that looks super cool. How about we go see it in action? Yeah, let's go. Thinking about the early days of the project, what did you find most exciting about using Vantage for virtual production? The first time I went to a virtual production stage, actually it wasn't so much exciting as it was terrifying because so many things could go wrong and they did go wrong the first day we spent fixing stuff, but um, eventually it did work. Um, I was worried about the gen lock, about the camera tracking because it was a different system from what we had in the office. But eventually, kind of everything came together and we managed to get some uh, good shots done. So that was pretty cool. Awesome. And we're about to see that because we've actually arrived. Wow, that was fast. Once you started testing at the stage, what stood out to you? It was surprising for me that it was actually the little things that made or break the whole thing. Like uh, you had to, um, we had to copy the software over several different machines. Also, um, people wanted to change stuff in the virtual world, like make certain uh, parts brighter or move things around or change the lighting. Um, and also you have to match the lighting of the real world to the virtual one. So um, for me, it was also surprising the number of people that are involved in a virtual production shoot. So it's not just the software, it's everything else that takes a lot of time as well. It's the people, right? Yes. Okay, so seeing this in action, do you think it validates Vantage's potential for virtual production? Yep, absolutely. Um, I must admit I had my doubts in the beginning, but seeing everything work out, um, both technically and, and in terms of workflow, I think uh, this is a very valid solution. 
Um, the one thing that was also super cool is sometimes we had to make adjustments to, to scenes in, in 3ds Max or whatever and we've been able to export them and bring them into Vantage on the LED wall in a matter of minutes basically which was uh, quite amazing. Um, I think everybody was pretty impressed with this workflow but also overall everything that we needed to do on, on stage we've been able to like we've been able to add lights move them around um, manipulate the scene uh, basically everything that the director wanted to do we kind of were able to the holy grail yes You mentioned some of the potential improvements, but overall, what's next? The next step for this year is basically getting to a version one of the product where we can give it to customers. Uh, we still have some work to do in that regard, like we have to make sure that the installation is more convenient. Uh, we have to add additional camera tracking protocols, but we're also trying to fine tune the workflow a little bit. Uh, for example, today we found out while we did the um, car animation, we found out that if we want to shoot from a slightly different camera angle, it requires us to go back into Max. And ideally, we want to do all this in, in Vantage uh, and do it in real time. Sounds very promising. Who can get involved and how? As next steps, we are looking for um, people who can help us test our solution on as many different setups as possible. So we're looking for possible partners who have LED stages and uh, maybe we can go there and uh, test how everything works and fix any problems that come up. We're also looking for people who might be interested in trying this uh, on a real world project uh, because this will give us very valuable um, information on how to improve uh, the product. You heard it from Wow, folks. Feel free to reach out. Absolutely.